just seems to continue to pop up around the world in a new country almost every day. Yeah. Uh, you know, here in the U.S., we're obviously very concerned about it. We have a lot of questions, and we know that you want to keep your family protected. Absolutely. So this morning, we have Chief Quality Officer Dr. Chris Dale from Swedish Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So we want to read some of these questions that we got right from our own viewers this morning. So we're going to start with this one right now. So Great. the virus, um, is it focusing on any one part of the body, like the respiratory system, or... Is it attacking different parts of the body all at once? How is this working? Yeah, the first part, it's a respiratory virus. The coronavirus attacks your respiratory sy system. Oh, okay. And what's the easiest way for it to spread? Is it touch? No, actually it's a cough or coughing up viral particles and then breathing those into your mouth and your nose. Oh, okay. So I guess on that note, uh, how long does something like this live on surfaces? I mean, could you get it from, let's say, an Amazon package that gets delivered? <laughs> oh, I understand the fear. Uh, it doesn't live on surfaces uh, very long, maybe in hours, potentially up to days, but primarily it's spread via cough. Okay. And, and we want to talk about the symptoms. We hear they're similar to the flu, but so can you kind of tell us what the difference is? Like, what does a flu feel like versus what does the coronavirus feel like? Yeah, exactly. So for the coronavirus, about 90, up to 98% of people who have it, they have a fever. That's the, that's the number one thing. Number two thing is actually a cough or feeling a little bit short of breath and then also some muscle aches. So similar to the flu, but different in that fever is the primary thing. Okay, so I guess that is the question. I mean, that does sound like you just described the flu a little bit. So if I'm feeling feeling sick, how do I know I need to be tested for the coronavirus versus just staying home with the flu? Yeah, well, right now, coronavirus is not circulating in, in Washington state, so you're extremely unlikely to have, have coronavirus. Flu is circulating. Like, we at Swedish have had five to ten cases in the past week of, of the flu, so you're much more likely to have flu. So I, we've been reporting this uh, hour that, like, you know, the makers of wipes and uh, hand sanitizers are ramping up because they obviously think there's a demand um, for that. So, I mean, they say they're 99.9% .9 effective. Do they work on the coronavirus if I were to wipe down my whole life with these wipes or use hand sanitizers? You, well, you would be a smart man. There's nothing better than a little bit of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Oh, your mic oh, fell your off, mic. but I love oh, that you had it in that's your okay. pocket. That's Thank fantastic. You. I'm we can, actually, we can well, all sanitize I'll do, I'll right now. I'll do this while you put I, yes, your mic back on. Thank you. This, is, this man is prepared. Yes, We're prepared. exactly. You, you can't go anywhere without Here, a little bit of Here, I'll give you sanitizer. some, too. Okay, yeah. There Thank we you. go. We'll now, share that. Now we're all prepared. <laughs> now we're all prepared we're and ready to go. eliminating coronavirus here at Q13. I'm, Quickly here, I, I myself am curious, do those masks help at all from preventing the spread of coronavirus? Yeah, particularly on people who actually have the virus. Again, like if you cough it up, the way to prevent transmitting to other people is to not cough it onto other people. Okay. And also really quickly, I know we're out of time, but I want to ask this. I've heard that kids are, are less likely to, to, to at least get it severely or get it at all. Is that true? Yeah, 100%. Like less than 2% or 2% or less of the, of the people infected with coronavirus in the case series to date and then kids. Oh, that's good news. This is, this is so helpful. Ooh, yeah. Dr. Dale, thank you so much for being here. I will give you your pre roll <laughs> back now that we're all sanitized. Yes, we are we're indeed. Ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 651 right now. What do we have?